Hello again, Mike Rimland here from Costa Farms, the plant hunter. We're gonna talk about a different genus this time, the, the begonias, uh, in this particular case, cane-like begonias. The one we're gonna talk about today was the, the original one that actually, of the cane-likes, that got us into the other cane-like begonia varieties. And this one here, which is called maculata, begonia maculata, uh, varieties that we're doing in the trending tropical collection. That uh, the reason why we're doing just the cane-like begonias and I might have mentioned this previously on a previous uh, video that, that I had done, is because we like the way they were upright, and the upright gives you a little bit more height, or well, quite a bit more height, but it also gives you better penetration into the, into the, into the plant where the plant will hold up better indoors. Uh, it really, I mean, it's, the, the, it's all about one thing. It's all about the spots. I mean, there's nothing else that you could say about it, dot spots, you know, whatever you want to call it, but it's extremely rare and unique in the plant world to have a plant that every leaf has, you know, these spots all over the over all over the leaves. It has a pretty interesting color on the back of it, you know, again, like a, what we call a wine color. A lot of people actually, when we first came out with this plant a few years ago, they thought we were painting the plant. They thought, man, these guys are like laying over some kind of paper and spraying dots on these on these on these plants. But no, everybody realized later that no, it wasn't. You know, a funny story about the dots: when we first started doing these, one of, the, of our production uh, team here thought that you know he'd said, you know, I think these are fake dots, as I mentioned. So he he tried to scrape them off. So he scraped off a couple of the dots, and of course, then he showed me the plant. I said, well, what are you doing, man? And he told me why, you know, that's because I think the dots are fake. I think you've been painting these, these few plants just come in here and show them to us. And I, he wasn't serious like later, I realized, but at first I thought he was. But then the interesting thing was, is he called me up, I don't know, five days later and he said, you're not gonna believe it. You saw that I scraped the dots off. Well, five days later, come over here. And what was really interesting for us, and this is now back to not being funny about the plant, the dots came back. They actually, if you try it, and don't scrape until you scrape through the leaf, but if you're able to use it, really soft your fingernail and get the, the white off, the white, you'll see there's a silver like monochrome, I guess is what you'd call it, in the back of, of, on the leaf still, and the white will actually regenerate back in there. So that's kind of an interesting thing, but uh, funny, but, but it actually was serious that, uh, that the plant really does have dots, and, and you can't take its dots away. So if you try to take its dots away, it's going to put its dots back. So uh, it's not a commercially, uh, it, it now is of course not a commercially rare plant. It was originally uh, not a collector rare plant when we found it. You collectors had it. It wasn't, it wasn't even that new. It just hadn't been commercially produced in large volumes. And we, I think, pretty sure we're the first one in the United States or North America to, to do that. Hope you guys like it. Great plant indoors. It uh, holds up really well. Again, east or west window. Uh, it might be, might be able to get farther back than three or four feet from the window, but really for plants to thrive, we've talked about this before, me and a few other people here in the company when we, we do these videos, that, but a 100 foot candle is good and in an east or west window, no curtains or drapes, um, you probably can get even up to close to two, 300 foot candles. So that plant will actually grow real good. If you do have in the window, it, it is one of those kinds of plants because it is a cane like, you might want to turn it because it will start to kind of like tilt towards light. All you gotta do is once a week, turn it around the other direction and it'll keep balancing out. So uh, great plant, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, we think it's pretty cool. And again, it's all about the dots.